Welcome back to 3 Minute Studio. Today, we ray uncovering one of the most mysterious and powerful natural disasters in North American history the 1700 Cascadia tsunami. This was a giant wave so massive it reached Japan, even though no one in America wrote it down. On the night of January 26, 1700, something unimaginable happened along the Pacific Northwest. The Cascadia Subduction Zone, a massive fault line stretching from Northern California all the way up into Canada, suddenly ruptured, a massive magnitude 8.7 to 9.2 megathrust earthquake struck. But there was a huge mystery while native oral histories spoke of shaking ground and flooding. Shores, there were no written records from that time. Instead, the land itself recorded the truth. Drowned forests, sunken coastlines, and abandoned shore villages all show how violently the earth moved. And within minutes of the quake, an enormous wall of water began racing toward the shore. This earthquake triggered a powerful tsunami that smashed into the coast of what we now know as Washington, Oregon, British Columbia, and Northern California. Waves may have reached heights of 20 to 30 meters, sweeping far inland, destroying villages, and permanently reshaping the coastal landscape. Indigenous communities all along the coast told stories of a night when the ocean swallowed the land. But this tsunami didn't stop there, traveling at nearly 800 kilometers per hour. It crossed the entire Pacific Ocean in about 10 hours. On the other side of the world, Japan suddenly experienced huge waves up to 3 meters destroying homes, boats, and rice paddies. The Japanese were confused, there had been no local earthquake. So, they called it an orphan tsunami, a tsunami with no parent. It took centuries for scientists to connect the dots. The orphan tsunami in Japan came from the Cascadia megathrust quake in North America. Today, researchers use tree rings, geological layers, and those very same Japanese records to reconstruct the event with surprising accuracy. We now know the quake occurred around 9 p.m. On January 26, 1700, and here is the chilling part, the Cascadia Fault is still active and capable of producing another megaquake. Studies show the region experiences one every 300 to 600 years and it has been over 300 years since the last one, with millions of people now living in cities like Seattle, Portland, and Vancouver, the impact of a future event could be catastrophic. Thanks for watching 3 Minute Studio. If you enjoyed this powerful 3 Minute story, hit like subscribe, and ring the bell for more fascinating disaster documentaries. Stay curious. Stay safe and join us for the next episode.